Greetings. My name is Kimberly Ross, and I am the Digital Health Literacy Coordinator representing Eastern Illinois University, the Booth Library, Department of Public Health and Nutrition, and the School of Communication and Journalism. Today's topic, Defining Digital Health Literacy, is part of a Train the Trainer series designed to enhance digital health literacy skills in our community and is supported by the National Library of Medicine. Thank you for joining us today. Healthy People 2030 further defined health literacy into two parts. Personal health literacy is the ability to find, understand, and use information and services to inform health-related decisions and actions for themselves and others. They may be obtaining information for general health knowledge or information about a new health issue from a friend or a child. There can be many reasons why patrons are seeking health information and organizations share responsibility in helping patrons obtain and understand that information. Organizations or providers of health information can be hospitals, public health departments, schools, and even libraries. These institutions are historically service-oriented, and while many places do not diagnose health issues, they can provide access to accurate information that is easy to use and understand. Organizations can provide motivation and encouragement, providing self-advocacy skills, and encouraging patrons to utilize tools to obtain health information. Goals of Health Literacy were updated in Healthy People 2030 not only to obtain the information, but to empower people's ability to use the health information in addition to understanding it. Goals include encouraging patients to make well-informed decisions rather than the right one or expected one. When a patient is in, is in an uncomfortable in a situation, they may feel pressure or shame that leads to an exchange of misinformation. Providing an open environment will help you gain a clearer, more concise picture of that client's health, and then better help us understand and help them. Incorporating a public health perspective and emphasizing that organizations serve the public hold a shared responsibility to address health literacy and strive to do everything within their means to promote increased health literacy for their patrons. It is best to assume that all patrons have low literacy skills. It may be easy to tell if someone is struggling to find basic health information online, but it is harder to tell if they can understand the information or can evaluate if that information is trustworthy. Can the patron communicate effectively to ask questions that are necessary and use the information to make decisions about their health care or the health care of others? Examples of adequate health literacy can include the ability to read a prescription bottle and follow the medication dosage instructions, follow the provider's written instructions, accessing their own family's health information online, navigating web portals and managing multiple passwords. Maybe they can navigate insurance coverage and information, fill out registration forms and patient surveys, make appointments, and understand those confusing consent forms, file insurance forms, and apply for necessary assistance. Factors that influence health literacy can be dynamic, changing every day with every patron. Was the patient set up to succeed in the first place? Patients who are provided with accurate information and the opportunity to interact and ask questions have better comprehension of the materials, increasing positive health outcomes. Most healthcare materials are written in a 10th grade reading level for a 7th grade audience. Patrons can have high literacy skills and still have low health literacy skills and low digital health literacy skills. Effective communication between providers and patrons is an important step in improving overall wellness in that patron. Examples of low health literacy skills may not be easily recognizable. Patrons that exhibit low literacy skills have difficulty following discharge orders or medication directions. Some may be competent readers, but struggle with complicated insurance forms, 
while others may miss appointments because they lack email and text message reminders that we may take for granted. Patrons with low literacy skills may be unable to name their medications and what they are or even why they are taking them. Recognizing patrons with low literacy skills and introducing digital health platforms can expose patrons to information that can increase longevity, the quality of life for them and their families. And this is important because as many as half of U.S. adults have limited literacy skills. Even more Americans, up to 9 in 10, have limited health literacy skills. The World Health Organization defines digital health literacy as the ability to seek, find, understand, and appraise health information from electronic sources and apply the knowledge gained to addressing or solving a health problem. The availability of print materials is declining and online materials and opportunities are increasing. Electronic information is cheaper and faster and if you have the tools, easier to use for some. Once you can quickly access your medical records, payment information, and test results on demand, you may not opt for mailed forms and phone calls any longer. But for others, especially those that do not have access or do not frequently use computers or smart devices on a regular basis, this information can seem out of reach. Diverse digital health technologies have brought the world of health into our homes and businesses through multiple devices and platforms. These e-health devices are computers, tablets, smartphones, and smartwatches. There are so many plug and play devices that can monitor health, such as pulse monitors, sleep apnea monitors, and even Bluetooth hearing devices. These devices provide access to tailored health information and statistics for the user. They can help connect patients to services by making online appointments, meet with providers virtually, and access online health information portals. Advancing digital health technologies provide increased health information opportunities that can open the door of wellness for many. When the COVID-19 pandemic pushed us into isolation and closed doors, Digital devices became more important than ever. Our world was thrown into a digital health crash course where we were making online COVID vaccination and testing appointments, and many of us were participating digitally in contact tracing efforts. Many people were facing long healthcare waits, canceled appointments and surgeries, and restricted transportation and advocate assistance. The pandemic forced many to take proactive steps to find their own health information online and perform self-care. Educational classes and provider sessions moved online and many of us learned how to Zoom. Recently, we were encouraged to go to the U.S. Postal Service website and order our free COVID tests. And many of us helped someone else perform these tasks. Digital health literacy is important because digital health is here to stay. We must utilize the technologies to reach more people and increase health and wellness for generations and communities. Goals to improve digital health literacy skills include reducing disease transmission and progressions, not only in individuals, but as a community, increasing mental and physical well being of individuals and the community increase the lifespan, and improve the quality of life, reducing healthcare costs along the way. Improving digital health literacy skills teaches self-advocacy in the individual to obtain healthcare information and utilize it to help not only themselves, but others. Want to know how your digital literacy skills fare? You can test your own digital literacy skills with the Pew Research Center Digital Knowledge Quiz. Digital technologies change rapidly and increase opportunities for health advancements. Check out where you stand by taking this short quiz online. Libraries play a crucial role in helping their patrons access quality health information. 
Providing access to computers and high-speed internet is invaluable for many. Checking out free hotspots and maybe even providing parking lot access to Wi-Fi. Helping users develop basic digital literacy skills needed to even use the computer. Helping users develop the necessary skills to evaluate health information resources online. Just like private study rooms, libraries can offer private telehealth rooms, making it possible with, to meet with providers via the internet privately. Libraries can help to fill the need for health information and provide access to research articles to study one's own health conditions for health advances. Librarians are competent servants of the community and are well trained in giving referrals and providing non judgmental aid in obtaining the information needed. They are key to connecting patrons to the digital health world and improving health and wellness. Now that we have defined what digital health literacy is, check out our other topics at Eastern Illinois University Booth Library LibGuide sites for other ways how you can enhance digital health literacy learning in your facility.